Hello, chapter 8, earthquake. There are two sections in chapter 8. Section 1, what is earthquake? We have already finished today our section. Section 2, earthquake measurement. We are going to learn those objectives. Explain how earthquakes are detected. Describe how to locate an earthquake epicenter. Explain how to think of an earthquake is measured. Explain how intensity of the earthquakes is measured. Locating earthquakes. How do seismologists know when and where earthquakes begin? They depend on earthquake sensing instrument called seismograph. Seismographs are instruments located at or near the surface of the earth that recorded seismic waves. When the waves reach a seismograph, the seismograph creates a seismogram. A seismogram is a tracing of earthquake motion and created, created by seismograph. Determining time and location of earthquakes. Seismologists use seismograms to calculate when earthquake began. Seismologists also use seismograms to find an earthquake epicenter. An epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface directly above on earthquake starting point. That means starting point is focus. It is on starting fo uh, point. A focus is the starting uh, focus in the point inside the Earth where an earthquake begins. Earthquake begin in focus here, the center of earthquake. In Figure One, show the location of earthquake epicenter and focus. An earthquake's epicenters on the Earth's surface directly above the earthquake focus. Here, as you see, seismograph, an instrument that records vibration in the ground that determine. The location and strength of an earthquake. Seismogram, a tracing of earthquake motion that is created by seismograph. Epicenter, the point on Earth's surface directly above an earthquake starting point or focus. Focus, the point along a fault and which at which the first motion of an earthquake occurs. Measuring earthquake strength and intensity. How strong was this earthquake? Is a common question asked of seismologists. Seismograms can be used not only to determine an earthquake's epicenter and its starting time, but also to find out an earthquake strength. What, be, what about strength? Meaning power of uh, earthquake. Here, students, the Ritter magnetic scale. Seismologists use the Ritter magnetic scale, commonly called the Ritter scale, to measure strength of earthquakes. Ritter wanted to measure ground motion recorded by seismograms at the at seismograms at the seismograph station. Table one, as you hear, table one. Show the difference in the estimated effect of earthquake with the increase of unit magnitude. That is power of earthquake. We call magnitude. In magnitude two, can be detected only by seismograph. That means can only understanding by uh, device. The human being cannot feel it. Magnitude three, two can be felt at epicenter. If you in center of earthquake, you can feel, but of course it is not danger. Magnitude four can be felt by most people in area. That means the uh, earthquake area. The most people can understand it is earthquake. Magnitude five causes damage at the epicenter. In epicenter, the center of earthquake destroys buildings. In six can cause can cause and damage buildings. 
in seven can cause great damage or destroy cities. Modified Markelli intensity scale, a measure of degree to which an earthquake is felt by people and the amount of damage caused by earthquake. If any is called intensity, currently seismologists in the United States use the modified Markelli intensity scale to measure earthquake in intensity. This scale is num numerical scale that uses Roma Roman numer num numerical from 1 to 12 to describe increasing earthquake intensity level. An intensity level of 1 describes an earthquake that is not felt by most people. That means most people cannot understand it is uh, earthquake. An in intensity level 12 indicate total damage of an area. That means the lowest level of uh, Markelli scale is 1. The highest level of Markelli in intensity scale is 12. So let us check the levels here. The 1 up to 12. That is 12 level in Markelli scale. Level 1 in Markelli scale, people do not feel any ground motion. Level 2, a few people can understand, notice ground motion if they were resting. A lot of people inside the building, level 3, a lot of people inside the building feel the motion from thinking of hanging object. Most of people, most of people inside the building feel the motion from ringing, hanging object, the clinking glass wave and rat rattling of of windows and doors. But most people feel the motion. Sleeping person wake up, door slam open and shout, plate feeling and breaking, picture hang on walls move and other small things fall. Level 6, all people feel the motion and difficulty to invoking, things fall down from the shelf, hanging picture fall down, picture of furniture move and damage in weak building is minor. People find difficulty in standing and it is destroying even strong building. 8. The foundation of house not reinforced. So also it is destroy even towers. It is bending or break, breaking towers and also destroy very strong building. 9. The strong buildings sustain great damage. Unreinforced house are deflated. 10. Most buildings are desolated and destroyed. Some bridge are also destroyed. Dumps sustain great damage. Cracks and fifth landslide occurs. Level 11. Most buildings collapse. Bridge are destroyed. Big crack appear in the earth. In the that mean cross layers or lithosphere layer. Last level or highest level, almost everything is destroyed. Things are thrown into air. The earth move like a wave. Masses of rocks may move too.